This is Unity. It's a game engine that a lot of developers use to build AR VR applications. Uh, it's super straightforward. Um, all you have to do is open a new project in Unity, download our SDK right here. So just click Unity SDK, it will download a file. You double click that file. And once that is done, you are good to go. All you have to do, uh, you'll have this empty scene. You just go right here, echo AR, examples, samples, and you get this uh, sample scene. The sample scene itself is empty. There's nothing here except for an empty game object with um, um, a place to plug in your API key. So I'm going to do that. So all we did again, open a new Unity scene, double click the SDK. And then now in this empty scene, we're just going to add our um, uh, API key. I'm going to press play. And that is it. We're going to see the, the, the same building, the same content that we just saw earlier stream to the phone. We're going to see it here. So there you go. We have the building stream automatically in Unity. How cool is that? Uh, we have the building here. You also have the fox, but the fox is actually inside the building, if you can see it. So let's move it a little bit here. Um, so let's do that. Let's put the, the building right here. Let's move the fox, let's say, 10 feet away. So let's do uh, x equals 10. Bam. We see automatically content is being streamed into Unity, the same thing that happened in the app. So all I had to do is some add metadata, uh, and then things automatically change. Um, let's maybe add some directions. Again, like we, lo we love the rotation. So let's do direction equals left. Whoops. Let's do direction equals left. There you go. Suddenly it starts to rotate it. When I stop Unity from running, you'll see that everything disappears. It doesn't actually linger in the device. And that's the cool thing about cloud connected applications that they don't, the content doesn't, um, does, isn't being stored in the device itself. The app is super, super small and the content is being streamed from the cloud. Now that I press play again, Voila, you're going to see the same content being um, instantiated in the application again. And you see that the same the same state is being preserved, right? The building is still rotating. The, the, um, the fox is 10 feet from the building. How cool is that? Like This is something that we call a stateful content management system that basically remembers the state, remembers how the scene is being constructed. So definitely take advantage of that once you're building your application. But everything streams and everything remembers how it was um, earlier. Um, so let's let's do. Um, so we saw that we saw how we can interact with uh, um, Unity. If there's any questions, again, feel free to write them in the chat. Um, and again, everything I'm just showing you right now is available step by step guide in our documentation right here under Unity. How to install, how to use SDK, and, and so forth. So definitely check it out.